Genesis chapter 15. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am your shield, your abundant compensation, and your reward shall be exceedingly great. And Abram said, Lord God, what can you give me, since I am going on from this world childless, and he who shall be the owner and heir of my house is the steward, Eliezer of Damascus? And Abram continued, Look, you have given me no child, and a servant born in my house is my heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him, saying, This man shall not be your heir, but he who shall come from your own body shall be your heir. And he brought him outside his tent into the starlight, and said, Look, now towards the heavens and count the stars, if you are able to number them. Then he said, So shall be your descendants. And he, Abram, believed in, trusted, relied on, remained steadfast to the Lord, and he counted it to him as righteousness, right standing with God. And he said to him, I am the same Lord who brought you out of Ur of the Chaldees to give you this land as an inheritance. But he, Abram, said, Lord God, by what shall I know that I shall inherit it? He said to him, Bring to me a heifer three years old, and a she-goat three years old, a ram three years old, a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. And he brought him all of these, and cut them down in the middle into halves, and laid each half opposite the other, but the birds he did not divide. And when the birds of prey swooped down upon the carcasses, Abram drove them away. When the sun was setting, a deep sleep overcame Abram, and a horror, a terror, shuddering fear, of great darkness assailed him and oppressed him. And God said to Abram, Know positively that your descendants will be strangers dwelling as temporary residents in a land that is not theirs, Egypt, and they will be slaves there and will be afflicted and oppressed for 400 years. But I will bring judgment on that nation whom they will serve, and afterward they will come out with great possessions. And you shall go to your fathers in peace, and shall be buried at a good old age. And in the fourth generation, they, your descendants, shall come back here to Canaan again, for the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet full and complete. When the sun has gone down, and a thick darkness had come on, behold, a smoking oven and a flaming torch passed between those pieces. On the same day, the Lord made a covenant, a promise, a pledge with Abram, saying to your descendants, I have given the same from the river of Egypt to the great river of Euphrates, the land of the Kenites, the Kezanites, the Kadamites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Rephan, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Gergesites, and the Jishbushites.